All right, gang, in studio with us, we have the ever debonair, uh, dressed like me, but looks way better, uh, Mr. Nick Kaloran with Great North Insurance. How are you, buddy? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me, man. You bet. Uh, you and I got to hang out at the lake a couple of weeks ago, uh, and you uh, wake surfed for the first time. Is that right? It was nuts. I can't even, I can't even tell you how excited I was. Uh, I saw the video. I wasn't on the boat. There was a weight limit on the boat, I suppose, and they didn't let me <laughs> on there. Uh, but we went out uh, to your lake place and celebrated your 40th birthday, and you wake surfed for the first time. Uh, how did your old bones handle that? I was sore for two days. Really? It was cra- yeah, it was crazy. I, uh, um, but again, the, the, the experience was incredible. Uh, I think it was all the driver of the boat, my good friend Marcus, but, uh, <laughs> and that's, or at least that's what he tells me. Right. So, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, Nick, you're uh, you're a natural with that, but you're also a natural in service. And what I love about you uh, is mostly your wife. Uh, <laughs> but but truthfully, uh, you own Great North Insurance. Uh, it's it's where I choose to get all my insurance needs. Uh, and, and you've been an incredible businessman for years. In fact, you won the Small Business of the Year by the Chamber in 2017. Is that right? Yeah, I think it was 16. Okay. But but hey, we can we can. <laughs> I mean, right. we can take the 17 one too if you <laughs> want to give yeah, it to perfect. us. Yeah, perfect. That's two back to back. So I mean, tell us about Great North because obviously what you're doing is inherently special. Yeah, we um um. You know, we've got a small uh, locally owned agency, as you alluded to. Um, Zach Bosch and, and I um, own it together. We opened it about eight years ago. Um, our Honestly, our number one um, goal each day is just to take care of our clients um, and do do the, you know, take care of them the way that we would personally want to be taking care of them. Mm-hmm. And I think it's, it's uh, I know it, it sounds a little cliche, but that's honestly the, the number one goal and our really our only goal each and every day. Hmm. Uh, well, it, it's felt, uh, I, I've told the story on air before, but I was out in California at a convention. Our basement got wet, and within an hour, you had arranged for like everything to be taken care of, including my wife. And so that matters a lot to me, and so thank you for the service that you provide. Yeah, no problem. And that, that uh, you know, t- it's not just because we're friends, right? I mean, that's, mm-hmm. I mean clearly, um, you've got my number, but all of our clients have our numbers, our right. agent's numbers. And that's what, that's, it's so important to us to make sure that we're, doing that for them and and you know really just pushing that uh, that envelope to go to our vendors and saying hey these are these are not only our clients but our friends and and really close neighbors and we want you to get over there quickly and take care of them because there's no more stressful situation than a, than a claim situation with your home or your auto it's just everybody gets a little tense and and tensions run high and so you want to make sure that you're get those vendors over there to take care of them uh, you mentioned neighbors and that we take care of our neighbors mm-hmm. That's an interesting parallel with what you're doing now with this incredible movement called the Great North Pole. Mm. Uh, You and your wife, Michelle, have found a way to take care of your neighbors, people that you know and people that you don't know. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about it. Well, um, I appreciate you saying it's Michelle and I, but but to be truthful, it's I mean it's a there's a board of, of sixteen or seventeen individuals. There's an event committee of another twenty. Um, so we've got a we've got a, a a small group of people that are all kind of coming together for this effort. Um, on top of that, we have ninety plus businesses, probably over a hundred businesses this year, um, that are investing in this cause, investing back hmm. in, into our community. Um, so when you know when I say that it's a community effort, it truly is. It's not. We've. It's wonderful to have a hundred percent volunteer run organization where, you know, nobody's getting paid, nobody's getting stipends. It's that that dollars outside of our event expenses mm-hmm. are going to the to our friends and neighbors, and it's the it's the buying opportunity that we have that that really kind of sets us apart from from other nonprofits. Um, you know, don't get me wrong. We're we need our these other 365, um, you know, um, day a year nonprofits in our community. Mm-hmm. They're doing they're doing it every day and they're grinding away. What we're trying to do is insert ourselves into a short period of time um, during during our annual week of giving, which is the first week of December, to help local families. Uh, so you covered a lot there. I want to make sure that people understand <clears throat> about the Great North Pole and what it is. How did this start? What is its purpose? What's the vision? And and who are you serving? Yeah, yeah I mean, we're uh, we're trying to serve local families, um, uh, families in Cass and Clay. And, and but where where did this come from, Nick? Because mm-hmm. uh, you had this brainchild. Y- well, years ago, right? Like it, it took uh, maybe a few libations and a crazy <laughs> idea, right? I I, uh, I honestly wish I could take credit for it. Um, it it is. Um, I am I'm definitely not an innovator. I'm not that smart. You know this. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> what I what I like to do is if there's a really good idea that's working with, and that's it's even with our for profit business. If it's working in another agency, hey, it probably will work for us, right? I if call it's that working, I call that copypreneuring. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And so it's um it, what we did was we were approached by um, a president of 
of a nonprofit called Sioux Falls Cares down in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And, you know, again, those those of us that have lived in this area for a long time understand that Sioux Falls is so similar to Fargo yep, yep. In, in so many different ways. Um, other than a winning football team, um, but but hey, oh, sorry about that. Is that an Augustana <laughs> reference? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, SDSU is Brookings. Yeah, we're well, get you a map. They're, they're all fans, but they're, but they're all fans of them, right? <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Take that, Augustana. Yeah. Way to way to cut into them from 15 years ago. <laughs> so, shut up. Come on now, be nice. So anyway, what what I was saying is that we've got a a friend that that is the president of a uh, Sioux Falls Cares down in Sioux Falls. And he uh, came to us about this idea. And really, as I said, this this nonprofit idea was all theirs. They've been doing this thing for 27 years now. Mm -hmm. This is just our second. And so what really sets us apart from other from other efforts around this uh, around this area of time is that we've got a buying opportunity to buy goods at a at a fraction of their retail price. Mm -hmm. And it's those relationships that are allowing us to bring these goods to Fargo and Moorhead. So. In this relationship, your wife serves as the CFO of Shields, mm -hmm. uh, uh, an incredible organization that, and we always forget, like, these things started here. Shields started in Sabin, mm -hmm. right? And now it employs, I think last I heard, over 7,200 people throughout the United States. Could be. Yeah. Uh, could be, yeah. <laughs> no, Steve told me that a couple oh, weeks ago, perfect. so there you go. There you go. Well, you got <laughs> so, the source. So there it's true. Uh, <laughs> And, and Shields has uh, essentially partnered, in a sense, with the Great North Pole, as mm -hmm. well as all these vendors from Under Armour to, I mean, you name it, the people that Shields are able to get buying power from. And you're getting these incredible things at pennies on the dollar, taking the monies that you raise and multiplying it. So last year in 2017, how much money was raised and what did that turn into for giving power? Okay, so we uh, we raised just short of a quarter million dollars. So hey, hold on. Your first year in Fargo, North Dakota, you and your crew raised a quarter of a million dollars. Yep. Obscene yeah. and awesome. Yeah, it's it's a, a testament to this community and everything that it believes in about giving back to local families. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it is a it's it was an unbelievable night. Um, it, it's going to be a great night again here in a, in a few days. Um, but you know, it's it's just been these partnerships. Again, you alluded to Shields, but it's not just Shields. It's uh it's Therlson Enterprises with with shampoo mm -hmm. and soap and conditioner. It's it's Sanford that is allowing us to buy uh, fresh towels, uh, pillows, blankets, that kind of thing. All of these items that are just that are basic needs. You alluded to Under Armour, but we're not talking about the the fancy eighty dollars sweatshirt. We're talking about like gym socks. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's these these items that every person, every kid in school should and needs to have when they when they start school each year uh so that's who you're giving to right you're giving to families and kids in yep. need and you have identified uh and i mean you're you're the father of three girls i'm the father of two kids and these are these are our peers for our kids i mean we're, we're fortunate to not have to be in need like so many of our families are yeah we are we are extremely fortunate um to have grown up with uh you know, in a community that, you know, we, we were given some chances. Uh, Michelle mm -hmm. was given a chance by, by Steve Scheele, as you alluded to, and she's been there for 18 plus years. Um, I, I've been in two different positions, but again, I've been afforded some opportunities that, that maybe others, you know, didn't get. And so we want to make sure that we are providing these opportunities in the form of, again, basic needs. We're not talking about like just these uh, exotic products that you just right. really don't need. We're talking about some of the basics. We're talking food and clothing. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's, it's, these are, these, if you can't get behind that around, around the holiday season, there's, there's just something wrong with you. And there are just, there's nobody like that around in the Midwest that I know anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nick, your event is your, uh, your pinnacle thing that you build towards. And then after that comes the week of giving, what does the calendar look like here until year's end? Okay. So the, the week of giving, or excuse me, the, the gala comes in, uh, in about nine days, I believe it is. Um, it's what's, gonna what's be, the exact date? Do you so, know? uh, September 14th, we're searching for it. There it yeah. is. Found Thank it you. September 14th. Thank you. <laughs> and so, yeah, that, and that's going to be at Shields center, um, on the NDSU's campus. Um, NDSU has been a great partner this year in mm -hmm. allowing us the facility. Um, last year we had 400 attendees. Um, this year we're going to have over 720, um, which is going to be unbelievable growth. But obviously with that growth, there's not just not that many facilities around here that can, that right. can hold that many people. And so it's pretty exciting to have a partnership like them. Um, and, and again, they they believe in the same stuff we do. They believe in a strong community culture and giving back. And, and it's awesome to have a partnership like them as well. Uh, Nick, you're doing something really special. If people want to learn more about the Great North Pole, where do they go? How do they dig into it? Um, well, they can, uh, they can pull up our website, which is www.thegreatnorthpole.org. Um, honestly, or they can just give me a call um, on, my, uh, on my personal cell, 701-261-7328. 
Um, I'd love to be able to share some of uh, some of the recent success stories, some of the needs that we need in our community, and how we're planning on growing it. Um, this is just this has been a great passion for not only myself but also other board members and and I said um, um, event committee members. And so honestly, if you if you need anything, if you have questions, or if you want to enroll as a family, um, you know, send us an email um, at uh, info at the Great North Pole dot org. And we'd be happy to enroll you for this uh, for this year, this uh, this first week of December. Uh, thanks for all you do, man. Uh, I'm proud to call you a friend and a brother in this community. Folks, we're going to head to the break. Go to livefargomorehead.com. This is Real Estate Radio with Eric Hatch.